Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into the Libra's Way. So, um, I don't know if I'm even going to be doing a reading on this, but I feel like it's important for you guys to know, again, they keep repeating the same thing to me. My guides keep saying, brace for impact. Um, I think it's in regards to the fact that Pluto return starts on February 22nd, 2022. That is two dash two two dash two zero two two. One, two, two twos and three twos. Everything is connected. We need to realize that because so many people are going to be in tune with this energy on 2-22-2022, it will create a portal for this new influx of information, of movements, of a coming together, of consciousness, greater consciousness. This will all be happening on 2-22-2022. The portal will open. Things will shift. And the beginning is near because of the death of a significant collective cycle that has been going on for years. Um, again, I know I kept, I keep posting these videos, but it feels like in different forms they're coming out. They're mixed, mi they're mixed with other messages, little smaller messages. It just depends on the situation and on the day, but it feels important to say and to remind everybody to brace for impact. Looming economic crisis is near looming uprisings of people wanting to create and implement any types of crazy wars war and peace read the book read the book war and peace i'm sorry um it's very interesting that i just had a hiccup Right when I said war and peace, this is a symbol and this is a sign that there will be a war of sorts. There will be a very large mishap. But after that mishap is handled, there will be peace. Saturn return. Saturn is significant. Follow the Saturn placements in order to gain or obtain more information. Saturn is unexpected, brings in unexpected things. So the best times to focus on when to expect unexpected circumstances are by looking for Saturn, Saturn in the chart, Saturn in your individual charts, but also in the collective chart. A defeat is near, a defeat of sorts that will allow for a new pathway to open up. The messages are a little bit foggy. Be prepared for shifts, constant shifts in the matrix between now and 2023 to four. Those shifts in the matrix are actually people practicing things they should not be. Crystal ball, 
and dreams. This is dark magic. This is people obtaining dark magic. I also feel that a lot of people will be forcing this darkness upon us very soon. People want answers to things that they shouldn't obtain answers to. For example, when people unearthed the tombs in Egypt of the um, of the kings and queens, for some reason I'm drawing a blank. Um, there, they were. There was a spell essentially cast over the tombs for people who unearthed them. They would be killed, right? If you look this up in history, it'll talk about you know tombs and you know the pharaohs and stuff and how there's some sort of a weird spell. Um, it feels as though that is upon us. We are near a place as a collective of figuring out a new life force is what I'm being told. This new life force will split the good and the evil, it will separate them. And that is what is coming with 2-22-2022. Love wins, but war and peace is because of this wishbone, because of the separation of two different forces. This change is harsh. This is a harsh change because Pluto is a disruption and an ending to everything we currently know. And you can see it with every news article that comes out. Every bit of your soul that tells you something is off, things are off, X, Y, and Z is off whatever the X, Y, and Z, fill in the blanks for what you feel is off. It's there because we are going through a transformational process, but in order to enter into that space, we have to accept. We have to accept what's coming. We have to accept the fate of the stars, essentially. <clears throat> There is also a reason that certain movies have been pushed <clears throat> back to align with this year's date. In 2022, you're going to see certain movies come out, one particular Disney movie coming out in, eight, in May, one other Disney movie coming out in December. <clears throat> Those movies are going to, are, are actually following, are on track with the consciousness of humans. They're also saying that something that might be a little difficult, I don't even know if I should say this because this could be something that shadow bans me or gets removed, which is okay, but let me see how I can say this in a way that's not invasive to the practices of the higher realms. Um, you're going to see people releasing these films are in alliance, they're working in alliance with 
um, extraterrestrials in regards to when to release these dates because the most significant impacts in this world currently work with, alli with alliances in the extraterrestrial realm. They create movies specifically to come out at a certain time and date. In particular, Marvel Comics. Um, but most importantly, things <clears throat> like The Matrix, movies like The Matrix, movies like The Avatars and the and all of these types of movies are coming out because they are they are being pushed to come out on these particular timelines to prepare us for what's coming, okay? The nine are near. If you know anything about that, you will learn and understand more of what I'm saying, but ultimately the concept is that we're close to, we're close to abruption. That's not even a word, is it? I don't know. We're close, okay? All they're saying is bracing for impact is imperative in all ways. Inflation. I don't, there are certain things I just don't want to say out loud, but you need to prepare for, if you could prepare for three to six months <clears throat> of anything that comes to mind when you say brace for impact, this is what they keep circling around telling me, because this is a it's like a big thing. And I just mentioned this in the other reading I'm uploading. Um, but this portal is going to open up. I don't, I don't know if I should, if I should say this, because it's not, it's not necessarily negative. But it's not positive either because it's very difficult for people to accept. But they're kind of showing me like Wonder Woman when Ares, the destroyer of worlds, came back, okay? And like Wonder Woman had to fight off the, the destroyer of worlds or something. Was it Ares? Was it... Wonder Woman or was it the X-Men? There's something very significant about the Destroyer of Worlds. I might dig into it later, but I feel like this is heavy. And I think that there is some sort of significance that people need to be aware of because it's going to, like I say, brace for impact. It's because when you feel the impact, it's going to be strong. It's going to be like getting in a car accident. It's going to be like a halt. It's going to be like, for example, this is a crazy stretch, but maybe it's not. Maybe that's potentially going to happen. I don't know. Where like there is an outage for like weeks at a time or something crazy like protect your assets, get them offline or something. Kind of like when World War II, when people started collecting or hoarding gold or hoarding cash, it's this feeling of that type of thing coming. Like when 2012, that crazy movie came out, and it, this is not this, but it's like when 2012 came out, people reacted, they bought a bunch of tickets and like you secured your ticket early in advance or something before before being able to enter onto like the Noah's Ark ship, essentially. There's, 
there's something about how like and how they could you only a select group of people could do it it's kind of like they're making it feel like a bitcoin thing like almost like you can only pay with crypto in the future or temporarily or something as if it's like forcing or prompting the world to embrace or prepare for like advancement of some sort like I, I don't know exactly what this is that they're showing me but I keep getting this vibe of like if everything was to completely shut down like having your information offline or being able to like access certain things being able to have your own garden your own food and it's not to that extent it's they're saying like it's it's not like the end of the world people okay like it's it's just it's the end of the way of the world that we currently know it right when the declaration of independence was written the new world aka the new world order like started and got really powerful brave new world they're saying the word brave new world is that a movie they're saying watch brave new world i have no idea what that is that's what they're telling me maybe you want to check that out um i'm also feeling this energy of like it's crisis time but it's temporary but it really this crisis which i mentioned in a previous video this crisis that that comes that is looming right now that comes will pump up other the value of other things okay so uh, for people who are for people who are scared by watching this video it's not to scare you it's just to tell you that hey this thing is gonna happen these types of things have happened in the past like every decade or so we have something crazy happen right whether it's you know, in uh, the 60s, we had a lot of civil rights activists kind of be hurt or not with us anymore, unfortunately. Right in the 70s, 80s, 90s, we had little wars, like whether they're f false flag wars, like fake wars that were actually illegal, there's always like some sort of a thing that happens almost like every decade. And this is kind of like one of those types of things that will happen that will like freak people out. Okay, it's kind of like a nightmare and then we wake up from it. And when we wake up from it, we're coming out on the other side like as if this matrix glitch thing like happened. But now we're being, we're going to be kind of like redirected onto a new path a new wavelength, a new frequency, and the frequency is actually going to be more impactful or something because, again, this type of thing only happens every two, three hundred years. So it could be something where, you know, because of what we're doing now, because of this thing, it's it's needed to happen. We can't, for example, like we cannot keep going at the rate of inflation that we're going. Like it's going to destroy everything. And we can't all end up like, what's that one country like Zimbabwe or something where like inflation is completely taken over and everything is practically worthless like there has to be some sort of a third party enabler to step in which is essentially crypto or bitcoin and that's what it was essentially created for because the people who run this during the time that they realized that the the dollar was losing value they created crypto they created bitcoin in particular well actually not human beings but um but 
extraterrestrials worked in alliance with with human beings to create something that is impossible to crack particularly at this point in time because it's not meant to right it's supposed to be just as sustainable as a dollar so that's why we're going to see this movement because of this alliance because of this thing that where the red flags were there they knew where it was going ever since the bailout started happening for the british with the u.s which was necessary but ever since the bailouts began everybody started to realize and that was really when people started to accept and realize that the dollar is pointless because if you can bail out in some way it is and obviously not completely but the concept of th this structure becomes there be as a result of that situation happening right the bailouts happening and you just being able to say, okay, we're in debt, like trillion, however many trillions of dollars. Well, how many more trillions of dollars can you be in debt before it just becomes pointless, right? Before it becomes something so ridiculous that like people, the everyday people, the collective starts reacting to that exact fact, right? So that's why these third party systems are being structured and created and why they're so behind it because this is something that has been developed and worked on for years. So this is also why I have been such a significant supporter of Stellar and I, disclosure, I do hold Stellar. I've held Stellar since it was six cents um, when the crisis happened, when the crash happened and we went into lockdown. But um, the big point of this is if in regards to Stellar, in regards to these long-term currencies that like maybe they're not worth a lot right now, but like this, the significance of them will be skyrocketing because who's backing Stellar? Let's just, I'm just using this as one example. Who's backing Stellar? IBM. IBM was created during the military industrial complexes beginning okay right like the movement of if you just type in ibm like you will realize that it was right there when when the when world wars were occurring so when you see like a stellar come in that is completely partnered and backed by ibm this is telling us that with this 2.0, this movement, this shift, they are being told to almost essentially create stellar lumens as a platform for this next wave of this exact same thing that we saw in the 1950s, right? And this is just one minute little example of what could be, right? Because these are all technically hypotheticals. Um, unless you're speaking to my guides who are like, no, 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 this is fact. Like, but some things are just not, people are just not necessarily able to, to, to accept yet. Um, or maybe it hasn't necessarily been released, but if I can see people in boardrooms and I can see what they're talking about, um, it's not that I'm meaning to do it, but it's kind of like, you know, I, I feel the boardroom type of vibes where they're, I just feel like they're showing me things and I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm supposed to talk about it. I don't know why, but like, here we go. Um, hypothetically, this is not actually accurate. This is what I just said is just a hypothetical, right? <laughs> um, but ultimately, we have to be prepared because... This brace of this bracing for impact is all to gear up for this this crypto agenda is what I want to call it. This agenda for us to move from this older way of life to elevate us to this newer agenda, this newer way of life. Okay. And I just want you guys to accept that this is a very 
likely potential outcome. This is a forecast, but based upon people's decisions and reactions, things can always shift. But ultimately, this is a forecast for what's to come in some way. And if you felt drawn to watch this, if you felt drawn to this energy, like, cool. Um, it's really all there is to say, but it's like I can feel certain things happening. And when they're happening, it's like, okay, I feel like I should talk about this. Just kind of just like I mentioned, the GameStop prediction coming true. Um, I posted like a video on November in November and I was like, I feel this strong thing with like GameStop and an NFT partnership. And then like a few days ago, January, you know, early January, they posted um, an article about how GameStop is planning to move into the NFT space. And then like all the shares skyrocketed. So it was two to three months out as I um as i say my predictions for these types of things are two to three months out so this is coming in and you might not feel the impact right away but it's going to like suddenly out of nowhere like you wake up and you realize that ish is happening and hitting the fan this is an agenda this is the crypto agenda of some sort this is the the new this is the foundation 3.0 agenda the the, if you watch my video previously, the foundation 2.0 to 3.0, there's something associated with that. Again, the crypto, this agenda needs to play out. Whether we like it or not, this is going to play out. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a temporary type of thing. <sighs> I don't necessarily love everything that's happening, but if you remember some of the concepts of last year things that were mentioned by particular people in higher power where there are potentially tanks and crazy things like driving around in everyday spaces um you can put two and two together and kind of get a feel for like where this thing is gonna go it's going to be crazy, but it's the calm before the storm. So right now, embrace the fact that it's so calm because the impact will be tremendous. So that's it. Take with it what you will. Um, like if you feel like you resonate with this. Comment. Don't, don't comment. You don't need to comment. We all know, you know um it, our our intuition is telling us enough <laughs> unless you want to comment you want to say something in particular and i don't mind responding but yeah that's that's where it's that's where it's headed between two and four to february to april two to four months the second to the fourth month is when it starts um i think i i, I feel so but things will be okay. We will be okay. We'll get through this just like we always have with everything that comes about every decade or so, right? It's just maybe a little bit of a stronger, crazier impact, but it's still the same type of thing. We can weather the storm together. All right, I'm out. I'm tapped out. They're saying it's done. Bye, guys.